Let us celebrate with joy the nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. For from her arose the Son of Justice, Christ our God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. So as the entrance antiphon said there, we celebrate today the wonderful feast day um, of the Nativity, the birthday of the Blessed Virgin Mary, a full nine months after the Immaculate Conception, back on the 8th of December. I'm offering this Mass for the repose of the soul of Michael Lindsay. My brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. You are the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. You are the Word made flesh, the splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Impart to your servants, we pray, O Lord, the gift of heavenly grace, that the feast of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin may bring deeper peace to those for whom the birth of her Son was the dawning of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. We know that by turning everything to the good, God cooperates with those who love him, with all those that he has called according to his purposes. They are the ones he chose, especially long ago, and intended to become true images of his son, so that his son might be the eldest of many brothers. He called those he intended for this. Those he called, he justified. And with those he justified, he shared his glory. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, I exult for joy in the Lord. I, I exult, exult for, for joy. joy in the Lord. Lord, I trust in your merciful love. Let my heart rejoice in your saving help. I, I exult, exult for joy, joy in the Lord. Let me sing to the Lord for his goodness to me singing psalms in the name of the Lord, the Most High. I, I exult, exult for, for joy, joy in the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Holy Virgin Mary, and most worthy of all praise. For the Son of Justice, Christ our God, was born of you. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. 
This is how Jesus Christ came to be born. His mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they came to live together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a man of honor and wanting to spare her publicity, decided to divorce her informally. He had made up his mind to do this, when the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because she has conceived what is in her by the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you must name him Jesus, because he is the one who is to save his people from their sins. Now all this took place to fulfill the words spoken by the Lord through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, a name which means God is with us. The Gospel of the Lord. For many Christians, especially perhaps non-Catholics, the celebration of feasts of Our Lady can be a little bit off-putting. Sometimes our Catholic devotion to Mary is misunderstood to be a form of worship, and Mary kind of comes across as a bit like an idol. Although today's feast, uh, the Nativity, the birthday of Our Lady, isn't narrated anywhere in the Bible, there is every reason to celebrate it. And there is no need for any complex theology to explain it. In the letter to the Romans, which we've just heard, St. Paul tells us that Jesus is the eldest of many brothers. Who are those brothers? It's each of us. We are his brothers and sisters. That's right. Through our baptism, each of us has been adopted as a child of God, a brother and sister of Jesus. And that is the most basic and fundamental truth of the scriptures. So if we have Jesus for a brother, then it is impossible for us not to have Mary as our mother. So far from being an act of worship towards Mary, our celebration of Mary's birthday is no different, really, to the way in which we would celebrate the birthday of one of our biological parents. And why do we do that? Why do we celebrate people's birthdays? Well, it's kind of fairly obvious, really. We do it to give thanks for the miracle of their life, for the wonder of their existence. Now, we give thanks to God for our parents' lives Because without our parents, we ourselves would not have life. Without Mother Mary, there would be no Jesus. And without Jesus, we would have no real life. No salvation, no promise of hope. I want to leave you with a little excerpt from this morning's divine office, from morning prayer. And it's the Benedictus Antiphon, especially for the feast of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Your birth, O Virgin Mother of God, announced joy to the whole world. For from you has risen the Son of Justice, Christ our God. 
He released us from the ancient curse and made us blessed. He destroyed death and gave us eternal life. God our Father, we thank and praise you for the miracle of our mother Mary's birth. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the humanity of your only begotten Son come, O Lord, to our aid. And may he, who at his birth from the Blessed Virgin Mary did not diminish but consecrated her integrity by taking from us now our wicked deeds, make our oblation acceptable to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the feast day of the nativity of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Richard, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here, whose faith, our devotion, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas and Damien, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, Giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, 
the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant, Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest, Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servant, Michael Lindsay, who has gone before us with the sign of faith and rests in the sleep of peace. Grant him and all the dead, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who those sinners hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Behold, the virgin will bear a son who will save his people from their sins. The body of Christ.
Let us pray. May your church exult, O Lord, for you have renewed her with these sacred mysteries as she rejoices in the nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, which was the hope and the daybreak of salvation for all the world. Through Christ our Lord. I know if Monsignor Tony were here, he'd say that today is a hobnob day. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a, a few sherbet lemons myself, because I, 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 pr- I prefer those. Um, I was thinking... Uh, usually when we celebrate birthdays, we give someone a, a card or, or, or sing them happy birthday or something. I'm not suggesting that we sing happy birthday to Our Lady now, but perhaps throughout the day, uh, we might just be aware that it is her birthday and maybe just make a little offering to her, maybe say um, the Angelus at 12 or something, or maybe say a decade of the rosary, or maybe if you say the whole rosary, or, whole rosary anyway, maybe say maybe do a second rosary or something, if you have the time. Of course, there's evening prayer tonight at six, where we do say, we say the Angelus and also a decade of the rosary as well. Um, So if you want to tune in for that, it's on the YouTube page at six o'clock tonight. Wish you all a very good day. The Lord be with you. Bow down your heads for God's blessing. May God, who through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, willed in his great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with his blessing. Amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of her, through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. May you, who have devoutly gathered on this day, carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.